Hey, what's up guys? It's Maddie. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video and talk about the music PC that I'm getting ready to build. Um, I've been doing a lot of my music stuff for the last probably four or five years or so. I guess that would be five years on, on Mac. So you can't see it, but I'm looking over here in my office at a 2011 iMac that I got on Black Friday of that year, and that was the one that got me started. Uh, behind me, I've also got, if you can see that, yep, right there, 2012 MacBook Pro, and that's the one I've been using for my music stuff for the last couple of years. Um, I love Macs, they're really cool. They're beautiful, they look amazing. Um, the design stuff is on point and they're easy to use, but what I was running into is with some of my electronic tracks and even singer-songwriter stuff with just, you know, live inputs, I was getting a lot of CPU overload, the projects were crashing, they were, they were just, uh, this, they would stop running the audio. So I was trying to figure out what I could do to sort of improve that without um, without completely breaking the bank. I mean, I can't can't go out and buy a new Mac every time this is happening, at least not at this point. Maybe someday, right? But uh, I did a little research and I realized that I could build a PC with some crazy specs that would, that would be um, significantly better than what I'm running now. So I was going to talk just a little bit about the pieces that I purchased for that. I'll start with the case. Uh, this is the Fractal Design Define R5 case. So obviously I'm trying with a music computer to get something that's pretty quiet, doesn't make a lot of noise, and has room for everything I need. And this was one that I that I found highly recommended for music PCs. And that's another thing. I, I sort of did a lot of internet research. I looked at reddit.com, build a PC, and got some recommendations there, and looked at some what other PC builders were doing to come up with these parts. So, uh, we'll start with this. This is probably the biggest deal. Um, the CPU, this is what was causing me so many problems in my MacBook Pro. Um, this is a Core i7 uh, Skylake 6700K 4 gigahertz processor and that was the one that came up most often is probably the best choice for a music PC. I don't know a whole lot about this and I don't know that I could adequately explain it but the way that DAW software works um, while there are faster processors than that, the way the software uses the processor, this is the most um, the most economical. So there, you know, there's ones that cost up to a thousand bucks, but the performance increase wasn't going to justify the additional cost. So that's the processor. I had had another motherboard picked out, um, but then somebody on Reddit recommended this one to me. It's the MSI Z170A Crate Gaming 3X motherboard. Um, this one obviously is compatible with the 1151 series of processors. And even though I don't do any gaming, I did need something with sufficient inputs and enough space for RAM and all that kind of good stuff that I could run my music PC on it. Obviously the biggest thing is it's compatible with the processor. So from there, I'm going to run the programs and plugins and everything off this crucial one terabyte solid state drive. I did put a one terabyte solid state drive in that MacBook and it, it was really nice. It runs so much faster. Um, and since I'm using that for, for all the software, I also have lots of samples, lots of presets and that kind of thing. And in this, this boring little box here, we have a, a one terabyte um, Western Digital, just regular hard drive, 7200 RPM hard drive. So, uh, one terabyte SSD and a one terabyte hard drive for some of the other stuff on there. I'll probably save some of the projects to my Glyph drive, which is over here, you can't see it, it's behind the computer. Uh, that's a 500 gigabyte uh, external hard drive. For RAM, I went with 16 gigs. I got the Vengeance LPX, uh, 3000 megahertz RAM. Once again, I've got space for 64 gigs of RAM on the motherboard, but I figured I'd start with 16. Seems to be a decent number to go with initially. I probably won't use more than that right away. And if I do, I've got tons and tons and tons of room to expand. So, I uh, didn't talk about this. This goes with the CPU, CPU cooler, another one, uh, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. Not the most expensive choice, but one that was recommended, and hopefully it'll keep this thing cool and also keep it quiet. We've got 
EVGA Supernova 650 G2 as the power supply in this monster box right here. Again, another recommendation from somebody who read it. Can't forget this because it's still what, like 1997, right? Optical drive. Interestingly enough, some of my software, like the initial installation of On the Sphere, is on a DVD, so I'm going to need uh, a way to, to put that on there. And finally, the other thing that's on the DVD is my Windows 10 Home License, so I'll have to have something to put that in with as well. So again, um, I haven't really used a Windows PC in a while. I used to have one for work, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, I'm not really losing a whole lot by moving from the Mac to the Windows PC, and again, this should be much faster. It should run much better. Um, I can't use Logic anymore, although I will have the the laptop over here in case I do want to bust into Logic, so that, that'll that work out, but I knew Ableton a little better than I knew Logic for the electronic side, and I really like Persona Studio 1.3 for some of the singer-songwriter stuff, so I feel good about the, the choices that we have here, and I'm really looking forward to using this computer. Uh, I also got the big 34-inch monitor back there that I'll be using with it, and I think that's pretty much it. So. I'm not going to do a video of the bill because I don't know what I'm doing and that might be kind of an embarrassing one to, to run with. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting this PC together and firing it up and getting some songs recorded in 2017. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you know, I'll leave a comment below or you can email me, Maddie, M-A-T-T-I-E, at MaddieRocks.com. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much.